たたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたた It comes with a, an Addy that's supposed to be 3 ohms. Mine came out 3.3 ohms, but that's all right. And they sent me a reddish drip tip. I know there was some controversy about this not being really red, red, it being pinkish, but、uh, I didn't, actually didn't read that comment until after I had already thought this was beautiful. <laughs> so I still think this is beautiful, and I don't see anything, any, anything wrong with this color at all. I would call it red because I think it's red and I like it. Okay, so it also comes with this、uh, Trustfire TR001 charger. But if you'll look inside here, there is no batteries. Now, what happened is the folks over at、um, Volcano e s i g s found out that the batteries that were shipping with the lava tube were actually counterfeit and they weren't AWIMR 18650s. They were indeed unprotected lithium ion 18650s. 1650. So, as soon as they found that out, they immediately stopped shipping the batteries. That was fine with me because I didn't intend to use IMR batteries anyway. IMR batteries carry a tremendously more amount of current, instantaneous current, especially the C rating, than a normal protected lithium ion battery. But the thing about IMRs is not only that it carries all that tremendously more current that I don't feel I need. But they're not protected. IMR batteries have no short circuit protection in them. So if you ever put them in a mod and that mod short circuits and you're using an IMR battery, it will self destruct. So、um, this mod was actually supposedly made for IMR batteries.、Um, I think the proof area is too that it would、uh, shut off in case the battery, the battery fails. But I don't know. If the electronics itself fails, I don't know. But anyway, there's a whole big argument about protected, protected lithium ion versus the fact that IMR batteries are unprotected. That's a whole new story. I'm going to use a regular battery. <laughs> okay, so here's my lava tube, and here's my Ultrafire protected LC 18650, 2400 milliamp hours. Positive goes in first. Now, the thing is, It's not going to, this cap won't screw on all the way because a protected battery is too long for this device. But it screws in all the way up to the threads. All this showing is this little piece of silver. It's good and solidly in there. I'm fine with that. I'm sure you all have seen this on many videos by now, but I will show you this up close and personal.、Um, here, press and hold this red button for on. And the red button now, there was a, something about it. Was being painted and then the paint was coming off or something. This is actually red plastic. This is red plastic. This, the buttons aren't painted. I don't know about the little silver ones, might be painted. I don't know. But I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm fine with it. So it starts off at three volts. Let's see, am I right? And it goes up in one increments, 0.1 increments. So let's get it up to say 3.7, 3.8, 3.8. Why not? Okay, so here we are at 3.8 with our red lava tube. Freshly charged battery. This is going to be great. And I'm going to put a little、uh, Freedom Smoke USA、um, Applewood in it. I don't drip in the drip tip because I don't like that. Put three tiny drops. If this was a regular big bottle, I'd only use two. And let's see what it's like. Awesome. This Applewood's good. Mm. Really, really nice.、Um, trust me, and I will push it up to 4.2 volts. It's so simple. You just press the plus for up and the minus for down. Easy peasy, mate. Yeah, very much more、uh, heat and flavor.、Uh, now, trust me again, and I'm going to bump it all the way up to 4.5. Mm. Amazing.
Now I'm going to bump it up to 5 volts. I'm not a 5 volt vapor, but I'll do it for you. With the standard res atomizer, it will handle it. Mmm. Huge heat. <laughs> it's getting uh, uncomfortable. Uh, it's getting very uncomfortable to vape this. I'm going to go all the way to six volts just to do it one time for you, but I don't like six. Uh, I don't like five, so six is going to blow me away. <coughs> yeah, six kind of. <coughs> Yeah, it's six. I'm not there. I don't like that. Okay, so who are one battery mods for? One battery that bumps the voltage up. Here's my demo. You see this tree limb? From here to here, I'm going to call five volts. Okay? Now, this is a, this limb is a five volt box mod. A regulated five volt box mod. Good and beefy. Right? This old piece of iron is going to be a standard resistance atomizer or cartomizer. The load, how many amps it's going to pull, of a standard resistance atomizer or cartomizer. This right here is going to represent my lava tube at 3.7 volts. From here to here, 3.7 volts. If we put on a standard, standard resistance atomizer or cartomizer on it, you see it stays steady. No problem, it can handle it. It can handle it. No, now we adjust the voltage up, it's still just the one battery. We're adjusting the voltage up, we're adjusting the voltage up. When we get all the way up to five volts, we're gonna droop some. The voltage is gonna droop some. It's not gonna be a good five volts, it's gonna droop some. But it can still handle it. If you'd measure this, it probably wouldn't be five volts. It'd be five volts unloaded with no atomizer or cartomizer. When you put the atomizer or cartomizer on it, standard resistance, it's going to droop a little because you're bump bumping up one battery to reach 5 volts. If you go all the way up to 6 volts with it, you're going to get even more droop. It's going to try and it's going to put you out all the amps it can. Okay, so let's unload our, our lava tube and take it back to 3.7. Now this can of tuna fish is going to be our low resistance atomizer or cartomizer, right? So it's going to pull a lot more amps. Here's our 5 volt beefy box mod. 5 volt beefy box mod, right? Regulated at 5 volts. And if we put a low res atomizer or cartomizer on it, look that tree limb doesn't move, right? What's going to happen if we put a low resistance atomizer or cartomizer on the lava tube as it's trying to bump up one battery? Some of your power is lost to the circuitry inside of the device. Not much, but some. And even when your lava tube is off, if you're not using it, it uses a little less power. If, you're turned, if you've got it turned off, it's not actually turned off. It's got the microcontroller in a, inside in a low power state. So it's still trickling some power away from your battery sitting there turned off. So here we go. We put a low res resistance atomizer or cartomizer in there. Did you see it droop a little? You know what's going to happen when I try to get it out any farther, right? Look. You see, it can't do it. It can't take the load. Unloaded? Fine. You can set it at 5 volts, right? But now if you load it, now you're trying to pull all those amps and, oh man, it's really oh, not be able to handle it. If you try to go up even farther. So, so there's a point in time where it's the, the, the circuitry sensing, you're pulling way too much power for me that I'm comfortable with, that I've been told not to stress this battery any more than that. And it goes, boom, I'm gonna take you back down. 3.7 might not even be low enough. It might take you even lower. At least it'll let you vape, but you're going to sense it's weenie vaping. So, if you're going to use low resistance atomizers or cartomizers, you don't want a single voltage battery mod that varies the voltage up from the value of one battery. You may be able to do it a little bit with a two battery mod 
variable voltage mod where you've got two batteries in series they're starting out with a much higher voltage and then the circuitry lowers it but that's still not going to if you want five volts get five volts get a five volt mod and vape at five volts All right or if you if you want low resistance atomizers or carmizers get a a 3.7 volt mod it can handle it too just fine this tree limb one battery set it a voltage there so don't get a one battery variable voltage mod for something that it's not designed to do it's not designed to take a low resistance atomizer or cardamizer it's designed to take a standard resistance 2.5 ohms or higher atomizer or cardamizer and then you can play with what juice or which kind of type of atomizer or cardamizer you want to use and now you can vary it around and find out where you're getting your sweet spot of vaping. The lava tube, total thumbs up on it. Um, highly recommend it. Oh, and if you put it in its case to carry it around, if you put it in its case to carry it around, make sure you turn it off first because um, with the foam inside, it can depress the butt. That's it, guys. That's all I got. This is Still Jan out. Till next time, have a great day. Thanks for watching and keep on vaping. Who says that? Keep on moving. Still Jan. <laughs>